Hello friends, in this video we will see installation of software in Linux. Software installation in uh, Linux include, includes three types of installation. One is uh, using a Debian package, one is using RPM package and another using source files. Now, the Debian package is used to install softwares on Debian uh, flavors of Linux and RPM uh, package is used to install uh, uh, softwares on Red Hat distributions. So and source package you can use on any one of them. If you want to install it on a Debian version of an operating system, Debian flavor or a Red Hat flavor of an op a Linux operating system, you can use source uh, on the both type of operating system. So Debian and RPM. So you know, if you want to have use uh, Debian RPM both in the same system, you can do it. But the problem is. Uh, they do, they both maintain different databases of the softwares and the naming conventions are different for the packages, uh, and the libraries. Um, and they might not work properly. If you install one software using a Debian and if you install one more software using a RPM version and they will look for a live shared libraries and the libraries would be in a different name. Uh, so there would be an incompatibility or, uh, the, the RPM cannot file the libraries which are installed by Debian. So they don't, they both maintain a different database. So I would suggest you to uh, use only Debian packages for Debian flavors and RPM packages to RPM flavors. Uh, you may also convert an RPM to Debian uh, format of the package. You can convert a package of RPM to Debian and Debian to Debian to RPM. We can use a program called Alien. So Debian package, uh, Debian package is used for a Debian distribution. The command used to install Debian package is dpkig, uh, dpkg uh, command. So example Ubuntu and Debian are the Debian version of Linux. Uh, we have a remote installation command. We can install a uh, software from a remote locations uh, from the repo repositories. We'll see what are rep repositories uh, in the next video. So we can use apt get command to install software from a remote location. So one more type of uh, package is RPM, the Red Hat package manager. So the RPM packages is used for RPM flavors of Linux, RPM distribution of Linux. So we have a command RPM to install uh, RPM packages. Examples of the Linux flavors which use RPM are Fedora, SUSE, uh, Red Hat, Mandrake. All these uh, flavors of Linux uh, use RPM version of uh, packages. Remote installation command in Red Hat uh, distributions are yum. The command is yum. You can use yum command to install from remote repositories install software from the remote repositories. So if you want to install source installation, we have to download the tar files. Uh, tar files are the zipped files or compressed files. So to extract the tar files, we, we use a tar command tar minus xvf to extract the file. Uh, if the file name is file name uh, dot tar, we use tar minus xvf. If the file name is tar file name dot tgz, it's it's a compressed archive. Uh, tar is just an archive, and tgz is a compressed archive. So file name dot targz or tgz, uh, both are same. Uh, different. Uh, extensions are there but both are same you can use tar minus xvzf when we use uh, a compressed tar file so once the files are extracted to a folder then we can use three commands to install the software we can use configure we can and make and make install so the configure will first configure will look for the uh, shared libraries look it look for the dependencies and check the dependent dependencies and then the make will compile the files will com uh, make will compile the files and create executable binaries and then make install will install the binaries to the system 
So there are the naming conversion for the package name for both uh, distributions are almost similar. Only uh, the last part, which is the extension of the file, will be RPM for the RPM package and DEB for the Debian package. So the ABC represents the version of the software, and the X uh, represents the release of the software. So what is the release of the first release, second release of the software, and then there is. A field called ARCH. Uh, usually, uh, architecture will be mentioned in the place of ARCH. It can be x86, it can be AMD, it can be I uh, x86, it can be I386, I586. So, different architectures of uh, processors. So, Intel has I386, I586, I686 uh, architecture processors. So, you, sh you should choose a right RPM to install uh, the software. So in this video, we just uh, saw the theory of uh, uh, what are the packages that can be installed in Linux machines. In the upcoming video, we'll see the installation of some softwares. Thank you for watching this video.